All right, aloha kako. Welcome to our talk story with our beloved Auntie Manu Meyer, who works with us um, over at West Oahu. Auntie, it's such a great honor to have you. And before we kind of get into the Olelo no Eau that have helped to shape your, your life and have given you um, some great perspectives and also allowed retrospect in regards to looking at, you know, who you are, where you've where you've come from, how you've existed, and who you'll continue to be. Um, some of the, my favorite things about um, getting, having gotten to know Auntie Manu over these past few years have been being able to understand her, her wit and her humor, um, hearing stories about how she you know, took care of, of students and did all kinds of outdoor adventures, and they had to learn from you know, being able to just survive and tap into like, where they have to dig deep. And, and allow themselves to grow in that way. And she's been such a great um, mentor to so many people in fostering uh, their thought process and their, their sh helping to shift their trajectory. Some other things that I love about Etimanu is that um, we've, we've gone over and she's played her harmonica. She's taught me how to, you know, uh, well, she showed me how to juggle. I still don't know how to, but you know, all the just <laughs> some other things. Uh, Mahalo Nui. Uh, what a pleasure to be here, everyone. Alongside Auntie Manu here in this room, of course, we have our one and only Hema Yam Lam, who is an amazing Kanaka, um, been raised by so many beautiful people, um, great parentage, great kupuna edge. I mean, the, the depth of knowledge that this young man has, I am so grateful to know him. Um, and he teaches me so much. Um, I mean, he's one of the, the Kanaka that you refer to and you say, and, and, and. And so mahalo nui hema for being in this space with us, our talk story space. And we also have um, Tita Nicole Akana, who is um, working with us at UH West Oahu as well. And again, is another one of those beautiful and, and, and um, in regards to richness of experience and being able to have multiple opportunities for growth. And she is also a leader um, in helping other people expand their, their growth mindset. So mahalo Nicole and Hema. For being here uh -huh. and then just a quick introduction for myself tiana from hana regular and uh love doing all kind any kind singing playing holly building so and 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 um thank you again for sharing your time with us and love the virtual holly as tiana had shared um it's really a space that we would like to share to the students and give them that space where they can come and learn and even reflect and realize that they healing within their own homes, right? So maybe you can share one of those olelo no eao that is dear to you. Um, okay. Us. Yeah. Mahalo nui. Let's start with ho'okahila au he mihi. Um, ho'okahila au he mihi um, means many different things. But for me, it means the first medicine is forgiveness. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the idea that Auntie Lynette is wanting for us to practice is the, the thought that as we develop healers in every home, which we always had, um, we can have again, but we first have to see um, where our medicine comes from. And it really comes from it begins with intentionality with ourselves. It begins by forgiving ourselves when, when we do things poorly. And it certainly extends to forgiving others when um, things are done poorly. So, so when, when you hear our kupunas um, ike like that, the first medicine is forgiveness. It, it changes everything because it puts you in the driver's seat for our own process and our own um, capacity to forgive your sibling for doing what they do so well, which is annoy us. Forgive me for being annoyed and then get on with the life of, of um, post-forgiveness. So this is why mihi, uh, as, a, as a practice in Aotearoa, also means to um, to give thanks, um, to honor um, people in what they do, to be specific about um, their impact on your thinking. Amihi is also an introduction 
a summary. Um, the, the, I want to do a, rub, uh, a bumper sticker that says, um, um, uh, Aloha mentors, love mentors, because me actually means mentoring, to mentor um, in, Aotearo, in Maori. It means to mentor. And so when you have um, an ancient, nah, and, and not so much ancient, but a practical idea like um, forgiveness, combined with the, the notion of introducing and summarizing and bringing forth the connecting elements of a, of a, of a meeting or a conference or an event, you're in, you're in essence bringing forth what mentors us. And that is things like forgiveness, things like love. And um, in a mihi, in ho'oponopono, when, when we experience a mihi in a ho'oponopono, oh my gosh, the room just gets lighter, 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 lighter. Because mm -hmm. when people forgive each other, there is love in the room. And that mm -hmm. love is tangible, that love is real, that love lifts us all. And so um, when we forgive, we're, we're basically loving each other. And mm -hmm. that love ultimately mentors. So ho'okahila auhemihi, the first medicine is forgiveness. You forgive yourself for doing things poorly. I forgive myself when I do things poorly. And that happens every day, many times during a day. And, uh, and, and forgiving others is the harder uh, aspect of this olelo no yao. But it is so doable. <laughs> Awesome. Auntie, can awesome. you kind of um, tell me some of the things you might say to yourself? You're talking about self-forgiveness, and I really love that focus, like where we get, we know we're in charge of ourselves, and like we are choosing on how we're, our outlook is. Um, for a lot of things, sometimes, of course, we have other external things or other things that are going on where we might not have that choice. But what are some things like that if, if okay, I'm going to ask you, for me, if, if you were to say like, what's some things that I could do, I could say to myself to being able to just learn how to yeah. process through forgiveness. Totally. Like what's some things totally. you've learned? Totally. What's some, some words totally. you've learned totally. yourself? You know, we've, d we've done this in the prisons for years is that um, we <laughs> teach the women and the men, and, you know, I, do, I love to do it with the men. And um, you, basically, you basically say um, twice, not three times, not one time. You'd say it twice. I love myself. I love myself. Okay. And then every time, you know, you can't say it once too, too little. You can't say it three times. That's too, too, it's too much. I love myself. I love myself. So let's try it, everybody. And then watch what happens. Watch what happens. You say, I love myself. I love myself. I love myself. And then you start to, I love myself. I love myself. And then you laugh. So when you do something, when you do something wrong and when you do yeah. something off and you catch yourself, you go, oh my God, I love myself. I love myself. Then you start laughing. And when yeah. you start to laugh, you actually unhook from the negative energetic um, spin that um, our, our personalities uh, create. So that is something that I learned 30 years ago with these kids in the wilderness. And I'm telling you, it has saved my life a million times. And women come up to me all the time and say, you know, Manu, you came into the prison 20 years ago. And, and I still do that. I go, I love myself. I love myself. And they crack up. They crack up. And uh, that's what we got to do. We got to crack up and we got to catch ourselves when we do things poorly. And we got to forgive ourselves um, at the same time. And laughter to me is the best. So I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> that's what I do. I swear to God. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so Auntie Manu, uh, word mihi and its uses throughout um, Aotearoa uh, and their te reo Maori uh, and its meaning Hawaii. How do you feel about possible integrations of that pu olelo to our own um, houses, our own speeches? Um, I think it's time. I think it's time to connect with our um, the Mana Moana throughout Moana Nui Akea. I think it's time to um, um, to take up our tuakana kind of role and stand um, in our capacity to relearn our faikorero processes, um, our ability to orate, whether it's in Olalo Hawaii, Olalo Makuhine, or English. 
The process is respect those in the space, give credence to the genesis of an idea, link that idea with the principles and practices of our kupuna. These are mihi basics. I've, I've been in places where the mihi, people, people came to the mihi at the beginning of an event and the mihi at the end of an event. And uh, more people there at the end to hear what they had to say in summary. Our indigenous cousins throughout the world use these, these um, priorities of, of mature discourse that we can practice ourselves. We can practice it definitely in, in our Olelema Kuahine, but um, because my job is to expand and include, um, if you were to do an, in, in uh, Hawaiian, then it would be my job to come in and do it in English so everybody has understood what you were saying. Because language connects us. And the, the, the capacity of a mihi as a mentoring, you don't want to just, you don't just want to mentor um, uh, in cognitive accumulation. You want to mentor in our spirits. So we, we'd ask you to olelo makuahine and, and you said the kumupa'a in that way. And then someone would come and summarize um, so that everybody in the room can connect with the, this, this powerful, powerful process of oracy. Uh, or orality, or um, or fight code at all, or the ability to orate. Our 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 people were orators. We mm. we practice this quality of engagement every single um, exchange. So rituals of engagement can once again have meaning and purpose. And yes, um, practice it, uh, Hema. Practice it in what you do. And, um, and make it clear about why. This is why we brought it back. We, we, we reintroduced this in Hawaii, and uh, I got slack for it, and, and I just said, we introduced it in a huge eco uh, economics conference, um, and we had 20 um, Hawaiians, and they stood up at the end of each workshop, and they summarized what they learned. And the people said at this event, it was about um, eight years ago, at this event, the highlight for conference goers was the mihi, because people love mentors. When you thank somebody for specific ideas that you, they have, you have learned from them, you are in essence letting them know what, what touched you. And when you express that to another, they feel it. And so, so you're not just exchanging cognition, you're exchanging each other's life force. And that is a mihi. And, um, and that, that is, it's at the foundation of that is aloha. And that we can practice in our homes. <laughs> Beautiful. So mahalo Manu for that, um, that, that take. And I really like your, um, principles that you shared regarding um, the basics and practicing. What are those basic practices that one can do in their home? Maybe just need the reminder. Um, if you can share a little bit about that. You know, Amihi for Hawaiians is a, uh, is a ritualized way of forgiving uh, and is often found in the Ho'oponopono, um, but it, it does not only be, need to be ensconced in a uh, ritual practice of, of healing in that nature. You can do a mihi uh, throughout the day. And um, a mihi can be uh, a sign of gratitude. Uh, at nighttime, you can actually, um, uh, around dinner or before you go to sleep, you can thank your beloved uh, and notice something about what he or she has done for the day. And then, and then practice three times. And if you, if you bring appreciation to uh, each other, um, it, it's like Christmas every day, every night. You mm -hmm. say, babe, I, I noticed what you did today. You, you actually, you, 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 um, you, you, you made some great tea today and it was my favorite. So I appreciate mm -hmm. that about you. And, and then um, he or she will respond and back and forth. And that back and forth is, for me, uh, an energetic field of kuka kuka. You're actually inserting and you're receiving. You're inserting and you're receiving. And and that, mm -hmm. you know, people always want to make kuka kuka into a serious discussion, mm -hmm. but it could mm -hmm. also be. Um, it is exquisite foreplay. I always like to say, 
um, <laughs> because you're inserting, you're receiving, you're inserting. So insert, insert beauty, um, mm -hmm. receive with kindness and, and, and give in, in that same kind of capacity. And so the mihi is, is kind of like a, is like an effulgent um, growth of love that permeates your home. Mm -hmm. When you start to appreciate, you're, you're actually noticing what people are doing and not nitpicking what they are not doing. And um, mm -hmm. that is the difference between witnessing, um, our kupuna teach us in, um, in Creed territory, that witnessing is a higher frequency of evaluation. And that is what a mihi is. It's witnessing at a higher frequency of aloha, of pono, and when we can, when we can express that with our, with our leo, with our voice, we are, in, we are connecting with higher truths that our kupuna have been uh, pointing to and showing us um, with this olelo no eau, ho'okahila au he mihi. We can do this um, act of forgiveness, this act of appreciation, this act of awareness by ritualizing it um, with each other. And you can do it at home. Love it. Love it. That is so beautiful. Witnessing it higher frequency of pono and aloha that's that's so beautiful and and you connect right to your kupuna as well as you do that and you know with our homes right everyone being so close it's easy to nitpick and, and get at each other but um, that ability to to resonate at that high frequency is is, is so beautiful so thank you for that nice um,